some sedimentary structures like ripple marks provide evidence of the flow direction of currents at their time of formation. These structures often form linear structures on bedding planes, but the layers of rock they found in may well have been tilted. This means that original current directions can only be worked out by restoring them to their original orientation. To do this, we have to rotate the strata about a horizontal axis parallel to the strike of the beds. This clip shows how to use a stereogram to do this kind of rotation. In this example, the bedding plane has a strike of 1 to 5 degrees and a dip of 76 degrees towards the southwest. The linear sedimentary structures on this plane have a pitch of 63 degrees southeast. Start by marking the North Pole on the tracing paper. We will need to plot the plane as a great circle and as a pole. Count 125 degrees around the primitive circle. Remember, heavy lines are at 10 degrees and that subdivisions are at 2 degrees. Mark on the tracing paper the strike of the bedding plane. Rotate the tracing paper so that this mark lies on the north pole of the stereonet. The plane dips at 76 degrees towards the southwest, so find the correct section of the equator and count 76 degrees along the equator from the primitive circle towards the centre of the stereonet. Remember the 10 degree divisions and 2 degree subdivisions. Mark the point where the dip is 76 degrees to the southwest. Hold the tracing paper in place and draw along the great circle that this point lies on. Measure 90 degrees along the equator from the great circle and mark on the tracing paper uh, the pole to the plane. Keep the tracing paper in the same position and count 63 degrees on the small circles from the north pole and mark the point which represents the pitch of 63 degrees southeast for the sedimentary structures on the plane. To rotate the beds about the horizontal axis, the pole, which is perpendicular to the bedding plane, would become vertical. The pole is lying on the equator, and if you draw a line from the pole to the centre of the stereonet, you can see that to become vertical there would need to be a rotation of 76 degrees. Draw in a line from the pole to the centre of the stereonet and mark in the rotation of 76 degrees. Hold the tracing paper in place and draw a line from the point representing the sedimentary structure along a small circle so that it also shows a rotation of 76 degrees. Mark the original position of the sedimentary structure. Rotate the tracing paper so that the North Pole is in its original position. The original trend or bearing of the sedimentary structure can be read off from the stereogram. In this example, the original orientation of the linear structure or sedimentary structure was 189 degrees or 009 degrees.